Welcome to HTV News. Today is Wednesday, February 7th. I'm Carson Morgan. And I'm Jada Brenneman, and here's what's happening at HHS. Students, are you interested in working on the primary election on May 8th? If so, please see Ms. Gill in room 2116 as soon as possible. Also, as a reminder, any student who plans to participate in spring sports must have a physical on file in the athletic office. Physical packets can be picked up in the athletic office or downloaded from the School City of Hobart website. Attention all seniors, the local scholarship booklet is now available online. All seniors are eligible to apply. Scholarships include many different areas of study and include some career training programs as well as traditional colleges. If you plan to continue your education and could use some, um, some financial help, check out the booklet. It's important that you know your application must be typed in order to be considered. The deadline to turn your HHS local scholarship booklet application is Thursday, February 15th by 3 p.m to the guidance office, see Mrs. Adams with questions. Now over to Mr. Crouch for what's happening at HHS. The cheerleaders did an awesome job at the Laporte Invitational this weekend. Besides coming in first place in the competition, the team exhibited extraordinary sportsmanship and spirit. Great job to the cheerleading team, we are proud of you. The girls swim team had a great sectional meet this weekend, coming in fourth overall. The following swimmers broke records both individually and in their relays. Amanda Kowalski, Delaney O'Brien, Haley Sweeney, and Emma Wright. Plus, Michaela Zekatansky, Anna Tapakovic, and Nina Rosinski, and Olivia Honor. Freshman Emma Wright is undefeated this season and will be going to state competition next weekend. Way to go, Lady Bricks. The wrestling team hosted the wrestling regionals this past weekend. In addition to some awesome competition, Three HHS wrestlers won and will move on to semi-state next weekend. Congrats to regional winners Tyler Triana, Dante Colza, and Zach Vitor. Good luck at semi-state this Saturday. We'll be back with Carson and Jada for Norma, more announcements. Attention 10th and 11th grade students who are interested in Porter County career classes for the next school year. You can come to guidance and pick up a permission slip to attend a tour. We are having buses leave going out on January 23rd and again on February 6th. If you have any questions, please email Ms. Torres. Key Club is collecting pop tabs and bottle caps from now through March. The pop tabs get donated to the Ronald McDonald House at Riley's Children's Hospital and the bottle caps will be donated to the MRC in Hobart. There will be a student competition in March, so start saving up now. Students, did you know there is a sharing table in the lunchroom? Instead of throwing away unopened food or pieces of fruit, you can put them in the cooler located under the new sign by the courtyard door so someone else can use them. It's a win-win. You're not wasting food and someone who's hungry can make a use of it. Thanks for your participation. Planning ahead for Valentine's Day? You could win an awesome date night basket from the Bricky branch of Regional Credit Union by depositing money in your account. Every time you make a $5 deposit, your name will be entered in the drawing. Check out the basket at lunch. It's filled with good stuff. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to, to subscribe to Hobart High School Radio and Television on YouTube to get all the latest updates and announcements. And that wraps it up for today's announcements. I'm Carson Morgan. And I'm Jada Brenneman. Have, Have a great, great day, day HHS. HHS.